Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about analogies a little bit. That's because in Word Masters, the way they test your understanding of the words is by using analogies. Analogies are basically comparisons. They look like this. They'll give you a word and then this uh, colon and then another word, a double colon, another word, a colon, and another word. And the way you read it when it actually has words in place is to say black is to white as night is to day. The way you decipher an analogy is by creating bridges between the words. And there are a few basic sorts of bridges, uh, synonym, antonym, part to whole, etc. And we'll be going all, all over these in a moment. The first kind is a synonym bridge. You look at the first two words and you create some sort of a bridge. How do kind and nice go together? Well, they're synonyms. They mean the same thing. So you need to then find a synonym for unkind for the second set of words. So in this case, if you look at the options, mean is the synonym for unkind. They'll put in words like friend to try and throw you off because if someone doesn't read all the way through, they might just see kind and nice and think, well, gosh, I'd like a friend who is kind and nice. Another kind of bridge is an antonym bridge. It just means the words are opposite. So tall is the opposite of short. Narrow is the opposite of what? And in this case, narrow is the opposite of wide. Again, they try and trick you by putting something like path in because a path might be described as narrow or they give you a synonym for narrow like thin, but that is not the correct answer because tall and short are antonyms, which means narrow has to have an antonym like wide. Part to whole is another common type of bridge. You get part of something and the whole thing it is part of. A finger is part of a hand, just as a toe is part of a foot. Again, little tricky things to trip you up. A definition bridge works like this. You would say, by definition, a lamb is a baby sheep. By definition, a foal is a baby and in this case, it's horse. Now, you might not know that a foal is a baby horse. That's where really making sure you understand the definitions of your words comes in because you can't really solve an analogy correctly if you don't know what the words in it mean. A type bridge. Something is a type of something else. So a wrench is a specific tool. It is a type of tool. A convertible is a specific car. It is a type of car. You could also have a characteristic bridge. Now this one's a little trickier. A characteristic of fire is to be hot. So you could look at this and say, well, a characteristic of a cheetah is to have spots or a characteristic of a uh, cheetah is to have whiskers or a characteristic of a cheetah is to be fast. So if you find yourself having more than one answer, then you need to change your bridge a bit. Make sure that you're very specific. So you could say some might describe a fire as being hot. Then you wouldn't say some might describe a cheetah as being spots or some might describe a cheetah as being whiskers, but you could say some might describe a cheetah as being fast. So by tweaking the bridge, you come up with a better answer. A lack bridge works like this. It'll have something in the beginning and what it lacks. So something ugly lacks beauty. Something short lacks height. So tall is the trickiest one here because some people might think ugly and beauty are opposite but they're really not ugly and beautiful or opposite. So you just have to be super, super picky with your words. Another common analogy bridge is a function bridge. They give you an object and you have to name its function. A shovel is used to dig. A pencil is used to do what? And although a pencil has all of these other features, a pencil is used to write. Finally, a degree bridge, something that's super funny is hilarious and something that is super cold is freezing. So that's how a degree bridge works.